Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do this video as more of a vlog style video because it is super casual. During the quarantine, I did buy a lot of clothes and I was also sent some clothes. So I needed to make some more room in my closet. So I just wanted to do that. I started a few days ago and just literally tried on basically every single thing in my closet. <laughs> and if it didn't fit, I got rid of it. If I didn't like it anymore, it was gone. And if it was something that I just have literally never worn, I realized there's no reason to keep it in my closet anymore. So I did work on this for a few days, but I very, very thoroughly went through my closet even more than I did in my previous closet clear out video. So I thought that I would film it and just show you guys like really what I got rid of and what I kept. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of cruelty free videos as well as some fashion videos and hauls and things like that. And some of my favorite videos are fall clothing hauls and that's coming up pretty soon. So if you are interested in those types of videos, definitely subscribe, check them out and let's go ahead and get started with clearing out my closet for the second time. So here's what I'm working with in the first section of my entire wardrobe. Up top here is where I had most of my like blouses, um, t-shirts. Most of my t-shirts were just folded and I didn't like that. And a bunch of like spaghetti strap tank top tops. So what I'm doing is just taking everything out first so that I can see every single thing that I have and I can look at it. This is what it all is just sitting on my bed now. So I will go through every single piece. This is part of the like Marie Kondo KonMari method that she talked about like you want to actually touch each individual piece So I'm putting the things aside that I'm not sure if I like them or if I Fit into them anymore, whatever it might be. Maybe they're old or I just haven't worn them for a long time I'm putting those off to the side and the things that I know for a fact I'm keeping the things that I know that fit and look nice and aren't like super old are just gonna go directly back into my wardrobe. But I do have a specific way that I like to organize everything, which I will share once I have everything back into that wardrobe section. And that's pretty much it. I just wanna make sure that I'm using every single item like individually so that I can decide if I like it. And then I'm also trying on the things that I'm unsure about and those will be obviously given away, recycled or sold depending on what shape that it's in. One of the things that I do for items of clothing that I don't wanna donate because they are just way too old or they have holes in them, I have put them in bags and I take them into H&M because they have a recycling program. So every time you bring in a bag, you get like a $5 off your purchase of like $35 or something like that. Um, I'm sure it's on the website, but it's a really cool thing to do. So even if you have pieces that are just like way past donating because they're in really rough shape, you can check out places like that. So here is all of the pieces that I have decided to go through to try on and see if I like them. And then now I'm just gonna go through all of my kind of old <laughs> t-shirts that I had just folded up. And I have them in separate piles. Some of them are like, sell some of them are donate some of them are give away whatever it might be but i just have like a little system that i have going on to make sure i know exactly what pile is for what it might look a little bit confusing but basically just do whatever you need to do to figure out where each of the things are going um and then i just put it all back into my closet and do it again for the rest of my wardrobe <laughs> Okay, so I'm done reorganizing these two sections of my closet. 
Um, I wanted to share how I organized the two sections because I kind of switched it up a little bit just so that it was easier to find what I actually have. It still looks like I have so much stuff in here, but I actually have gotten rid of so many things. This top section up here is where I'm keeping all of my t-shirts and like summery blouses. Um, those are all on this side, so like all of these are literally just t-shirts. In the middle here, I have the summery blouses that have like shorter sleeves. On this section, I have tank tops and bodysuits. So I put all of the like bodysuit tank tops together in this section. And then over here, I have like crop tops or, oh, that is also a bodysuit. I'm gonna have to move that. <laughs> but over here, I have like cropped summery tops. Down here is where I have all of my sweaters. So all of my chunky sweaters are over here. There's actually so much room now. I could not get a single hanger in here before. It was just so packed. So I have all of my sweaters. I have the short sleeve sweaters. So this is like winter, fall. And then I have my long sleeve shirts that are just like ribbed materials. And then I have some more like longer sleeved blouses and flannels. And then some like dressier longer sleeve shirts. Uh, more flannels apparently. I don't know why they're in two different spots. I clearly need to do that again And then I have three of my like workout active wear jackets And this works for me. So I'm very happy with how it is Now moving on to the second unit part of my wardrobe I'm doing the exact same thing as you saw in the previous ones. I'm just taking everything out I find that this is way better and more convenient for me if I didn't take everything out, I don't really get a feel for if I actually like it anymore. It's hard to tell if it's gonna fit if you haven't worn it for like over a year. So that's why I do that. I think it's a really great method. I'm kind of organizing it in the same way. You'll also hear me talk about why I put things in a certain spot over here. And I'm just going through everything. You're not really seeing what I'm putting away, but there are obviously items of clothing in here that I needed to try on. And obviously things that I just knew for sure that I wasn't going to use, but I just had like a separate pile for that and just went through everything the same way. I didn't need to do my jeans because I just did them quite recently. So I knew that everything was gonna be fine. Um, so I just focused on like this section and reorganizing and clearing it out. Here's the second section of my wardrobe that I have reorganized. All of my sweatshirts are up there, folded way nicer than they were before. And then this is the section that I ended up with. I didn't have to do my jeans because I just recently did them. And I did get some new ones, so I just kind of added that into there. And the way that I organized this is pretty much how I did it before, but I just kind of took out some of the like bulkier cardigans that I had in here because they were just taking up way too much room. So over here I have shorts and shorter skirts. Right next to them are my longer skirts. Next to that are some like leggings and other pants that aren't jeans. And similar how I did the other section right here, I put all of my like spaghetti strap dresses. I find that organizing things by like the sleeves or possibly like the links of things makes it way easier for me to find stuff which is why I have like shorter stuff here and then it goes longer and then longer and then here I have like my smaller skinny strap dresses because if you put them between things that have sleeves they get lost and then you can't really see them so that's why I put that there and then it goes into like tank top style um, some like jumpsuits and then t-shirt style dresses things with slightly longer sleeves and then I also have my like blazers and then smaller cardigans that I can wear in the summer if it gets a little bit chilly and that's pretty much it and I did put some of my chunkier cardigans over here because I had like a ton of room in that one um, just for now to like get them out of the way at least but that's uh, pretty much it. So here is the giant pile of clothes that I got rid of. I will probably be listing a bunch on Poshmark, if not just giving them to friends and donating them. But I did want to show you guys how much clothes I actually got rid of. <laughs> it's quite a bit. And there's a ton of hangers over there too that I was able to free up. 
So that's it for this second closet clear out video. I hope you guys liked it and I hope it inspired you to do the same. Honestly, that's why I make these videos because when I see other people clearing out their closet or just cleaning their house, it makes me wanna do that. So hopefully you guys are feeling the same way. Let me know what types of videos you are interested in seeing. It is going to be very soon that I will be filming some of the stuff that we're doing with the basement suite downstairs. We're getting to more of the exciting stage. So I definitely want to show you guys what we're doing with that. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.